you can hear that rasping noise. Um, these step, these well, this ladder steps is really tough on everyone's feet when they go up and down. The light is really terrible. Um, but so Greg has decided to rasp off the sharp edges, and he got some felt we're going to put under the under layer and then leather here to wrap around it. Um, hopefully that'll save the little one's feet. Now he's marking it so we can punch holes to lace them up. So he's making a mark every inch, Greg? Mm -hmm. Yeah, every inch. And we'll punch holes, and then we bought leather strapping to lace it up and tie it. And that should really make a difference for the kids' feet. So now he has a leather punch, a block of wood, and a hammer. He's just going to go through and punch holes um, on all his little dots. That work? Mm -hmm. Worked on that knot. The hard wood. <laughs> we have two kids out and they're talking to us on this walkie talkie. That's pretty slick. Show them the leather strapping you bought. I don't know. Yeah. Okay, so. we're coming back. Suede lace. Do we get a coyote? Last night. Yeah, you can come look. <clears throat> How does he just punch hold it? That up. Can you hold that up for me? He punches it every time, every inch. So it just punched a nice, it didn't leave it up very long. It punches a nice round hole. Give me a pencil. And then what's it do? It collects punch. inside the punch? Because I don't see him. Oh, I gotcha. There we have it. Wow, He's gonna, nice we have awesome. five leather patches. Um, we're gonna have to go get another strip of the leather because we need nine. <laughs> now he's just marking the pattern for the next one. What I can do is while he punches holes, I'll go ahead and mark the next one for the next pattern.
what's happening here is so we stayed a few nights ago at the cabin and we've done it since 2017 so we built it and there's no bathroom in the cabin so the goal was to build a outhouse we decided instead of building an outhouse like we're going to stand in them bathroom okay y'all so Greg has been up here working building a bathroom for us at the cabin I've told you before we have this primitive cabin that we use like oil lamps it does have propane to heat don't shut the door I'm going to show them it um, we have a water system that we just have bring tanks back and so there's our sink and we have this what's up with five or six gallons of water to wash up, wash dishes, wash our hands, things like that. But we really didn't have a good solution for the bathroom. Um, we had like a medical toilet kind of thing. But look, he built this. That way we can look how cute. It's right on the edge of the cabin. Um, so you can come out this door here and step right into this door, which is our bathroom. So this is a composting toilet and they're very expensive to buy, but he built one. So what you, you do is you use the bathroom, there's a bucket in there, and then that little box beside of it holds sawdust. So once you use the bathroom, you scoop sawdust over it, cover it up. The sawdust eats the microbes that cause the smell and, and things. So I'm excited to, to have it and try it. I'm gonna try to step back here and let you see. So we have a little bit of a solution to the bathroom issue. Um, I'll give you a whole tour of the cabin sometime soon. Our goal for that is to put a little lantern in there. 